slow and walk on two. Which hip set is this? Five. Five. What's going on? Hello and welcome to Meet Me at the Riverside Cafe, episode 5, with yours truly, Quinn Banda from WCTV and... And me, Lydia Garner from Wareham Week. We're also joined this week by Tyler Bonatti. Hello. Incoming musical performer. Ooh. Yes, I am. Okay, so... I tried to look you up on YouTube. You'll find to nothing. Do a little bit of hope. Okay, so we found nothing. Nothing. So you need to really tell us about what kind of music you're doing and so forth. I mean, you really need to give us all the information. I know, this is the beginning, so okay. I mean, I'm just starting out. Not as far as writing goes, I've been writing music for about 11 years now. But I'm just getting onto the scene where I'm beginning to market myself. I'm getting studio time. I'm appearing on TV shows now. So it's hip hop, um, a little R&B. It's kind of alternative. I mean, it's a little bit of everything. So why now? You said you've been writing for such a long time. Yeah. Why are you starting to market yourself now? Because, I mean, I procrastinated for a very long time, to be completely honest, and I didn't have the same belief in myself as I do now. Now I'm more more confident with what I'm making. I've gone out into the world and actually performed for people, and I've seen their reactions, so it kind of inspired me to go out and try to take the next step. Um, later on, we're going to be playing a game called Explain This Picture. I like this. Okay. I like this and idea. all these pictures, you know them because I took them from your Facebook. No! Yes. Oh no, I don't like this game now. I am watching my figure all the time. How's it look? Is it a good shape? Yes. <laughs> um, can I have a Belgian waffle? Do they have it? Yes. yes, we do. Thank you. I'll take the garden omelet. Okay. And can I get that with fruit and um, dry wheat toast? Sure. You said you've been performing or sharing your music, kind of yes. gaining more confidence. So where have you been sharing your music? House of Blues. That's um, probably the biggest venue so far. Um, I mean, other than that, it's been like college parties. I've gone to Providence College, UMass Speaking Boston. Speaking of college, Bridgewater State University? Yes. Are you still there or did you graduate? I'm still there right now. And I'm looking to I'm looking to perform there a little bit too in the upcoming future. Alarm. Yeah. Are you? I am. Okay. God, I graduated too damn early. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there are some topics that you touch on. Um, I'd say one of the biggest ones would be um, drug abuse just from kind of the area I grew up in, um, family stuff. I know a lot of people deal with it in practically every family in some outlet or another, and I just feel like that's something we can all connect with. Okay. And it may, it's not something that I specifically yeah. had to deal with and overcome, but I've just seen what it can do to people and families, mm -hmm. and there's people who can get out of it, and some people, unfortunately, can't. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and my sangria is coming. <laughs> thank you so much. Saved by the sangria. <laughs> Back my to your BS, question, thank though. Thank you. Oh, that yeah, was sorry. a good one. Okay. Oh, thank you. It was, what was it? How do I um, do you, connect it, my experiences yes, yeah. to my music? Um, I don't know, it's kind of like, I I can't, I just sit down sometimes and I'll be listening to beats for hours sometimes and then all of a sudden like one line will hit me and then I'll just start writing and I'll write five pages of lyrics and it's kind of, I almost feel like, it sounds weird but I'm almost like possessed in a way just because when I'm writing it's like everything kind of finds a perfect spot. Wow, so who are some artists, musicians that inspire you? I mean right off the top of my head when I first got into hip hop I was I listened to 50 Cent and I wasn't like someone I really connected with okay. as more as like I like the sound of this music what was the song what was like the number oh like song? into club when oh, I, was, okay. I was probably like seven or eight years old didn't even know what he was talking yeah. about <laughs> but it sounded good yes, yes. and then I listened to outcast um, and then when I really dove into the genres mm. I was listening to rock him Nas notorious B.I.G. Tupac Eminem um, oh, got, got oh Kendrick God. Lamar. He's my husband in next life. Continue. <laughs> Kendrick <laughs> Lamar. I mean, J. Cole. Um, and to other genres like Marvin Gaye, Al Green, yeah. Funkadelic, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. Uh, I could do this for hours. Now, but, you, uh, back to like your music, you wanted to have a deeper meaning. And you mentioned some yeah, artists who their music also is kind of the same thing. I mean, Eminem, yeah. every single album or every single song is on point. There's something to connect. 
um, Kendrick Lamar is like an activist, like a same yeah. kind of musician. But then there are other musicians, especially when you come to hip hop or rap, where songs that just have to be catchy. And those are the songs that get a lot of hits. Those are the songs that teenagers, young people, you and I, connect with. Yeah. Where does that lead? I need to get people to the point where they hear something and they go, wait a minute. What did he just say? Yeah. And I want people to rewind my music just because they're like, I, I didn't catch that. What was that? Okay. But I need to, I guess what I'm trying to get is I'm trying to have that sound at the same time, but have it not overshadow what I'm saying. Okay. Make love to the camera. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay um, Whenever you're ready. I'm at breakfast sitting here with Banda and Lydia, but now I want to go and eat breakfast. I'm striped just like a panda, but I'm really just clipping on some of the things off the top of my head. Maybe this is like an open microphone, but I'll say it instead. All right, let's grab the rhythm. I'm sitting here spitting, but none of this was done off the top. It was all written. No way. I'm just talking about what's in front of me. She's got yellow she's got black and I'm really mellow but I know I'm not whack so how about I sit down and just enjoy this breakfast and not rap I can do an interview but there's no clue to the way I do this it's so askew with my views okay I can keep going oh I was just a little bit nice I mean that was impressive so did you find out what makes virgin waffle virgin waffle <laughs> so the waffle maker they use oh okay. that makes it Belgian yeah. So do like different waffle makers have different like backgrounds? Yeah. Like is there a Canadian waffle and like yes. a British waffle, Canadian yeah, waffle? Yeah, every country has its own waffle. It does? It has its own waffle? Right? Every single one. No way. And all the oceans too. You're messing The Indian right? Ocean waffle. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for a new game invented by our very own queen. Explain <laughs> that. Okay, no, let's do it again. <laughs> Time for a new game invented by our very own queen. Explain that, that frame. frame. Oh, jeez. That's a good right. first one. So, our first. What a dinosaur shirt is what I have to say, first of all. You can't pick that up anywhere anymore. That is gone. That is vintage. Yeah. How much can you remember about this? I mean, you talked about the place where you were. Do you remember what you ate, your mood that day? That day? I didn't even I didn't even know that picture happened until it got posted on Facebook. Really? Yeah, I didn't post that. Someone someone tagged me in it. And I, it's a really good picture. I like it. I just, I never saw it until then. It was taken by my uh, my grandmother, well, my step-grandmother, his, yes. his new wife. And yeah. Yeah, it was the first time I saw it. All right. Now for the bad ones. There is no bad one. I think my Facebook's pretty clean. This is the one that made me go and put on my, my lipstick. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's my senior That's my senior photo. I thought so. Yeah. So did, were you forced to do this picture? Yeah, I was, I was not feeling that. I'm not, I'm not into taking photos. And it, it, you can kind of notice like my chin looks a little weird. Like the hair on it, it's like lopsided. I had a huge zit right there and the oh. photographer had to edit it out and it kind of ended up like looking kind of funny <laughs> but it was the only day I had it booked and it was just this nasty looking zit. Now who dressed you for this? I did. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Just trying to be simple. <laughs> like blue, white. You dress chain. yourself? Yeah, I dress myself. <laughs> I buy my own clothes. Well, I didn't know if your mom or somebody would be like, you know, I want you no, to she, your favorite sweater. That's why I didn't tell anyone. I just did it. <laughs> I love it. That's my friend Jovier. Okay. And um, that was my senior, no, my sophomore or junior, yeah, because I didn't have chin hair yet. Oh. Sophomore or junior year of high school, it was uh, Spirit Week, and I go to Bourne, so I'm in rival territory right now. I was wearing my purple and white. I had my purple going, I had a do rag on and everything. Okay. I was, I was just pretty, uh, now, still pretty now loud. Did you have a lot of fun? Did you have a good high school year? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I made the most of it. In the okay. beginning, it was kind of tough just because of, uh, just like different stuff going on, like 2008, that big recession hit. Yes. And my family was having a tough time. So like the first two years of high school was really just like, I wasn't focused on the fun. Because I, I went to school with a bunch of rich people. Oh, and right. and a lot of them I mean I can't say everyone was yeah. but a lot of people were and I got to see like the life that they lived and it made me kind of bitter and jealous inside like I wanted to be doing that and I I come home and I didn't have the same advantages but I mean that all changed I mean everyone was 
everyone uh, worked their way out of it together. Absolutely. So then like my senior year was great. I loved it. New Year's is coming up. Do you make New Year's resolutions? I, I think I just want to I want to keep making goals to go on so I'm probably just like trying to continue what I've been doing but maybe like take it to the next level. I know the album is coming out first. When is it coming out? Sometime in the spring. Okay, in the spring. Yeah, I got to um I got to mix it. I have to go to a uh, mastering producer. I mean, I'm just learning now how how much work this actually is. It's not just So thank you once again for joining us in episode 5 of Meet Me at the Riverside Cafe with yours truly from WCTV, Queen Banda and me, Lydia Gurner from Wareham Week and me, Tyler Bonatti. Check out the album. It's coming soon. Green Tables.